Yo, welcome back to Chelsea Fan TV with your boy Asni. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Chelsea Fan TV is on the road to 200,000 subscribers. Don't forget to follow me, Twitter, underscore Asni. You know where to find me. Subscribe to my YouTube as well, Asnalysis. You already know my thing. Let's get into the game. Chelsea 2, Nottingham Forest 2. Now let's 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 just, just let's just say it like this. Raheem Sterling is a superstar. Raheem the Dream Sterling is a superstar, and we should keep him next season. He should be rotating with the left winger or the right winger. Either one. Absolutely sensational footballer. I'm actually so so happy that we have him, man. Like I'm just so happy. Because he's just amazing. And I knew he was going to be amazing. Because I'm just an intellectual of the sport. If you don't know, get to know. He was phenomenal. I was getting roasted on Twitter for saying that he deserves to start over Mudrick. If, we if Mudrick was on the pitch to right there and then, let's be honest with ourselves. He doesn't score those two goals. He doesn't. He's not, he's not on that yet. The disrespect on the seasoned veteran who is still 28. He's been on the top of the Premier League for the past 10 years. The past decade. He's been one of the best wingers to ever grace the league. And the disrespect on his name is just... Wow. Can't believe it, man. I can't believe you guys. It's Honestly, it's just awful. Now, look. Finally, got some loose hole ball today. I was really happy with it. He played very well. He didn't have a lot to do, but what he did, what he had to do, he handled it well. Very good at the clearances. He got dribbled past a little bit once or twice, but it was not too bad. And his passing was really good as well, to be fair. It's like those touches he makes, the pass to Sterling on the left wing was just phenomenal. Perfectly weighted. Created some chances as well. One big chance created the whole game. That's a real left back. And I think he's better than Ian Matson as well. I think that people say that's a controversial take, but I don't think so. He can do everything Matson does, everything Kukurea does, and everything Chilwa does. But it's just one person. The difference between Matson and Hall for me is that Hall, I mean, Matson doesn't have the like rigidity that Hall has. He doesn't have the the physical presence that Hall has. He doesn't have the dual winning ability that Hall has. Hall is just a much better defender. And he's much better physically, which is why I like him. And he can also match Matson's ability in midfield and overlapping. So I'm a really big fan of Lewis Hall. I really hope he gets developed on the Poch. And I really hope Poch likes him too. I'm pretty sure Poch is a manager now, so I'm just going to say that. You feel me? Enzo Fernandez consistent as usual. Benoit Badishil, consistent as usual. Unfortunately, for the second goal, he could have like turned a bit quicker. Or like tried to stop the the pass going over. But is what it is. I think a lot of people as well abusing Edward Mendy. I for myself saw some racism on the TL. And things like that. I feel like so unwarranted. I know he didn't have the best of performance, but this is his first game since November. He hasn't played since November twenty twenty three and we're in May. We're in the middle of May. Come on guys. Come on. He's still better than Kepa Risa Balaga by 10 times. 10 times better. Thiago Silva as well. He needs to have a conversation, man. That brother needs to hang the boots. He needs to hang the boots. It's getting a bit too much for him now. He can't really handle it no more, bro. He's getting bullied every single game, and it's not fun. It's not fun for me to watch. He's been a great seller for us, but he needs to cut. Honestly, the people that are saying he should stay, like, oh, man. Come on, come on, use your brain. Use your brain, bro. Come on. He shouldn't be anywhere near the squad. He shouldn't. We shouldn't we shouldn't have him. We shouldn't have him. Come on. He needs to go. He really needs to go. One man. Him and Sterling. For man of the match today. Trevor. Chalaba. What a performance, man. 
oh what a performance he was sensational today like i was so surprised the way he was like ow ow I was so surprised the way he was attacking today. I was just, oh, he was lovely. So, so lovely. The chemistry he had with, with Madueke and with Ziyech as well. It was just great to see, man. And he got an assist too, deserved. He wasn't too bad defensively too. Great, great performance from him. And I'm really happy. Because I can see that he's getting a lot of respect on the, on the timeline as well. A lot of people want him to be sold. I would allow him to be sold, yeah? As long as we integrate Ampadu. If we integrate Ampadu, then it's fine. But if we don't, Chalabar should stay. You really should. We shouldn't go and buy some some other centre back like the Sassi or Tadebo, someone like that. Although those are good players, we don't need to be spending money like that. We need to be smart and logical. Chalabar is a very very good player, and I'm very happy to see him perform the way he did. Um, Kanchiko Mecca and Gagaslina. He went on the under twenty World Cup. I'm going to be watching that. I'm going to keep you guys updated on that because it's really important to see. The progress with our players. Um, Kendry Pays as well for Ecuador and Andre Santos for Brazil. The other players in there, Harveyville as well. Noni Madubeke didn't really have too much to do today. It was pretty cool, pretty calm, good touches in there, good dribbles. And yeah, pretty just average performance, I would say. Enzo, he's just 7 out of 10 every game. I don't really know what this is, to be honest. Um, and Kovacic came off injured, but before he came off injured, he was appalling. We really need to get rid. Really do. Like, he was disgustingly bad, honestly. And it's not, he's been like this for a while. He really needs to cut. When Zia came on, he was trying to do the crossing thing. I hear it, but it didn't really work like that. It, his passing was good, man. The pass, this pass he did outside the foot to, to, to Gallagher making the seam run in the, in the space. Really good, man. Really good. Um, Ja Felix, though. I don't know, man. I don't know, man. Maybe the structure's not good here. Maybe, I don't know. It's been a terrible season anyway. I would like him, but it just doesn't make sense to go And I think the, the club won him as well. Just, I just don't see how any of this makes sense. I really hope something happens that's good for Chelsea. Not for Felix, for Chelsea. Whether that be Felix comes in or Felix doesn't come in, I don't really mind. Just something positive for Chelsea. Loftus she came on as well for Kovacic uh, um, before the end of the first half and he played very well. He, he affected the game positively and I was really happy for his performance. He done good stuff too. We move on to the next. I think we have Man City next. Let me check really quickly. Our next game. Man City in about eight days. Then we got Man United four days after that. Then we got Newcastle. I think Newcastle final game of the season. Let's get ready for that, guys. Let's get ready for that. Let's get ready for that. It's going to be hectic. Really going to be hectic. Let's see how we end the season, man. I don't think we're going to lose all three games. I really hope we don't. Let me know what you guys thought about the game down below. Spin your boy as need. Don't forget to like, stream, subscribe, Chelsea Fan TV. Don't forget to like, stream, subscribe, and ask Don't forget to follow me on Twitter underscore Asni. Spin your boy. Peace.